So first of all, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Um, before this video starts, I quickly want to mention one thing. This is built on official, so there will be a few gaps in the walls. So you can just easily fill that in in unofficial. So with that said, let's get right on into the video. Yeah, before I forget, um, this base is next to Viking base, so a little bit behind the waterfall cave. Uh, let's get into it. So as we come to this base build, um, first of all you have all these cliff platforms outside. They are really important because um, racers with cannons, they can just like destroy your whole base with a few balls if you don't have these metal cliff platforms. So that's why they are there. And then you come to the first chandelier. Uh, actually, there are two chandeliers. Um, two, the, de those defend the outside of the cave. So, if they come to your uh, base, they you don't want them to fly over really easily. So, that's why. Then you come to the base. You have this spam, so no one can get through. Um, no dinos, no soakers, no people. And you have this outside turret tower, which is really important. You also have those railings, so if they get through, you can't. Uh, run t up to the wall. There you have the death wall. Um, yeah, that's basically a simple design with um, turrets on the ground. Um, the bear traps on the ground as well. On this wall as well, the bear traps again. Uh, you have kind of the same design as the first one with the pillars. Um, yeah. Is a really important fact about this cave? Um, you can place a foundation up there. So I play on official. I did this on official, so it was a bit hard for me to place it down. But on unofficial, you can just easily place that down. Um, so it seems that it's on uh, pillars, but it isn't because of the foundation up top and the f foundation below. So, yeah, if you uh, destroy one pillar, it's not dropping everything. So then you come to the inside, to the dino room, you have two chandeliers over here, just really simple, so if th if they come there, you can, they, the chandeliers can look over them, so they can get rid of it. And then one of the most important and funny things of this base, the crafting room. So you have those indie forges, a few smithies, and a few camp benches first of all on the right. Then you go in and here you have your refrigerator room to store all your eggs. And as you see, as you can see, you really need to uh, hold your W key down to get in. So that's an important thing as well to make it like that. Then you have the tech pot at top, so someone can spawn there. You really have to hold W down else you can't get in. So that that's really important so enemies also can't get in really easily if they don't know. So you have those uh, fabricators down there, the turrets to defend it, um, the replicator a few voles, and again on the hatch frame the turrets to defend it. And the fabricate the generator is in the corner there. Here you have your cryo cryo fridges to store all your cryopods and your dinos in. Um, and your little vault area is over here. Here you can hatch your eggs so they can grow and your tech pots are over there. So you can also place a few more tech pots down on this cliff platform here or do whatever you want with it to make it for a bigger tribe. So um, the generators are also important to know. In that corner over there are the generators, like in the boxes. So again, this outside uh, chandelier is one of the most important defenses of the entire base, because they get um, like the first impression on the on the raiders. So. They can't easily get through, and this third wall also is uh, the third tower is really important because if you stand here, the wall can't shoot you, and the turret tower can. So, yeah, you can get uh, through the corners. Um, you can easily fill that up with um, with 
like walls on an official. So the fabricate the generator was there as you can see. Um on the outside I don't have a generator on the first wall, just over there. And the same design, one over there. And one on the chandelier, the uh the last box, the second one. And in the corner behind the fabricators is also a generator. So yeah, that's basically it for this base. Uh, you can also add a second layer to the um, like the the area where you store your dinos, where the channel is. Are. I think it's a pretty solid base. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's get on to the next build. So this is uh, a few clips of how I build it. Um, this is a clip from the chandelier and a clip from the front wall, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'll put a little bit of uh, background music. Just enjoy the clip and if you want to build this yourself, here's how.
That was the build of the jungle cave by someone who can actually build and plans their builds. So if you watch till the end, comment what's on the screen right now so I can see you watch till the end. I'll like your comment and... With that said, see you guys in the next video. Later!